Just exit out of this? Yeah, just exit out of that, yeah. Okay. Go back onto RuneLight now and sign on with that info that you made. With that account that you made. Like my email address, right? Yeah, your email and that password that you used. Remember username and shit? Okay, remember? Yeah. God damn it, what is this? Am I getting sick again? What is this shit? I don't know stuff. You need it. You need a member's account to log into this world. Please Switch subscribe or use left, a different world. It. Yeah, you see on the bottom left where it says world number? Uh huh. Click on that and go on like world 476 or some shit. Usually it's pretty, pretty empty and it's a free world. I'm pretty sure. What are you guys on? We're on members' worlds currently. Okay, well let me do the shit, bro. You have to pay for it. Oh, just si just sign up for the free first. Oh. Right now, bro. Okay. <laughs> the fuck, man! I'm not trying to be with all you guys. The fuck? I mean, you're gonna be without a slot anyway. It's a lot of grinding and shit, you know. I know, but still, I just want to be still in the kind of this world, you know. I can still yeah. see you in there, you know. Sometimes, maybe randomly. Yeah. So you said, uh, okay, I'll, can I switch worlds though when I'm in here? Yeah, when you're yeah. in there, you can switch worlds. So okay, like, okay. Just, so yeah, you don't I'll have to worry about it now. You can sign right up now, okay. whenever you want. Yeah. I'll sign up. I didn't know what the. F I didn't know. Yeah, you've got no, to I pay to, for no, it. Yeah, so what is it? Twenty bucks a month. Twelve. So. Is there any way to make the fucking so, UI bigger, man? It's tiny, isn't it, bro? Yeah, I don't understand. I struggle like, to read it. I struggle to read it when it's in full screen. Just make it bigger. I thought it was just me. I was like, am I going Where's the scaling blind? on this? Like, there's no scaling whatsoever. Nothing. Did you find out if you're showing up offline, G? <laughs> no, I don't know how to check that shit. Hang on, let me Google it. Let me Google. Are you in a clan? I don't think so. You wanna make a clan? Sure. How do we set the chat in the bottom left for only us? That's what I wanna do. That's clan chat. So you'll see it like when it's clan chat. But I think you'll still see everything else. Or no, when you click, you see how it says? Like games on, public's on, private, friends. Underneath the chat box, just left left click private friends, and you'll see like it like clicks it in. I have friends. I don't. I don't see that. I see all game public private channel clan trade. Private, yeah. Click private. Just left click. Why does it say off? How do I switch it to on? Just left click it. it doesn't turn on. It just it just right opens. What does it. it do if you right click it? Just like opens the chat box. Switch tab. No, no. Right, right click it, and you should have a menu that says private show, show friends. You see that? Oh, show friends. Okay. Public friends. No. What the What's... fuck is the settings, man? And the bottom, you have. See to... me chat. It should be the little. No, I didn't see chat, bro. You sure you gave me the right fucking person to add, G? Or else, how do I turn yeah, on the music, the friend. bro? Message. The settings in the bottom right. Friends private. Bottom right. I just oh now it says you're online. That's weird. There we go. I guess you had to message me to. What the fuck? Why well, is it? I... Says, now it literally told me Goku Roku has logged in. I'm gonna stream your fucking shit in Discord, bro. I'm sorry, man. Like, I don't <laughs> understand it. what am I looking at. I am, I am. I just, like, literally don't understand what the f Make it full screen, dude. Okay. You have to play through the tutorial. I don't know if you can turn it down at this point. You can't turn it down right away? I don't know. Because usually it's in the bottom right where all those empty square boxes are. It's not there. It's not there. Just click, click on your little, right click on your volume thing in Windows. Right click on it. Go on uh, volume mixer, yeah. Room light. Just turn it down, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> you just, you just said, you said the genius. Okay, so play through. Yeah, so you're going to have to play through that tutorial. Well, I'm going to continue this tomorrow because I got to, you know. That's fine, yeah. I guess. Wake up early as shit, but yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be fun. It's not that bad. I thought it was gonna be way worse. 
when you like you know when you guys saw the picture it looks bad this looks this looks pretty my guy looks awesome i'm not gonna lie he looks like he belongs <laughs> in uh dragon ball z you know <laughs> nice that's sick he's all blacked out long sleeve. it's like literally like a karate master fucking love it can't wait to, when you get when you pay for the shit to get like crazy outfits and stuff or what you have the ability to get them. Because I want to look like a wizard, you know? I've always wanted to be a wizard. Yeah, you can buy shit that makes you look like that. But you don't get it for free, with even with a membership. You still yeah, get that's cool. Like, you gotta just buy it. Money and stuff, yeah. Or you could just pay. But you gotta grind to get the money. You can't pay oh. with real money. No, it's like in-game Oh, grants. that's yeah, three. In oh, in so if I want it, I really... God, oh, girl, yeah, okay, okay. I mean, you can you can buy that bonds, I guess, crazy. with real money and sell bonds in like the grand exchange for coins, but that's that's yeah. just cheating. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Kind of ruins it, you know what I mean? Like the fun is grinding, having to grind up all your levels to be able to make shit. Yeah, this, is, this shit, looks interesting actually. Shit, it's like know? a cool like side thing just to have on the my second mod. It's cool. I never played a game like this where you click. What the fuck do you want, buddy, man? I'm trying to talk to you. I figured oh. it out, Ernest. Are you watching my stream? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you just have to go to right-click on your desktop, go to display settings, and just do scale and layout and turn it up to like 175% or 200%. Display settings, where do I go? I was have a good night, peace, peace. Yeah, too, but peace, is that peace, a, peace. of everything? That does it of everything, no? It does, it does, but it's the only way. I guess. It didn't do... Anything to RuneScape. Yours didn't resize? Mine definitely resized. My map is bigger, my, my inventory is bigger, the chat is bigger, oh, everything's hold up, bigger. Hold up, hold up. I did it on my other monitor. <laughs> you gotta choose the right monitor, man. <laughs> Can I full screen this shit? Is there What'd any way to do? What, what did you do? What percentage? Uh, 175, I think. Is that what I. Yeah, 175 is good. Did 150, 175 is kind of big. I'm gonna get my fishing to 48 probably. And uh, I'm gonna start barbarian fishing. Actually, I need to start barbarian fishing. I think I need a certain amount of strength and agility. So I can't until I do the agility, which is crazy. That axe, I feel like, swings so goofy. Yeah, it does. I just enabled a setting that was um, animation smoothing, and it actually looks a lot better than it was. Really? Yes. There's like plugins and shit we can get for room light. Yes, I that was the first one. There's one that for quest. Thanks for reminding me. What is the quest one? It's it's a plugin hub. You have to go to the hub. Quest hub. It's like the top one. It looks like. Okay, there's an H, bro. What? Arnez. That looks crazy. What the fuck? I can see everything now. And it, oh my god. Did you just have to toggle it or just what? Just download the the thing here. How do I download it? Just it's the first thing. Just go to config and no no you go config Search. in the top right 
And it should just be Contact. in the first leg. Or did I? Where did oh, I go? The, the, the tool? Yes, yep. And then just go to the bottom and uh, plugins. And then the first two. Plug get hub. Get quest helper and get the 117 HD beta. HD. Oh my god. What's the quest helper? Quest helper, it basically just whenever you're doing a quest, I saw on YouTube today, whenever you're doing a quest, it basically just breaks it down, shows you everyone you have to talk to and everything. There's even a fucking uh, arrow on your mini-map that'll point to like the next person you have to talk to and shit. So I don't have to use fucking... Wiki. Yes. Wiki, yeah. And the wiki I've been Damn, going... I kind of liked the using HD the wiki, fucking... though. Yeah, yeah the I mean, HD. I'll probably still pull it up. I this get, looks crazy. It turns so it into a different man. game. When, when I use the wiki, I feel like I'm actually crazy. adventuring in here. You know what I'm saying? Do you get that vibe yeah, too, or is that just it's me? It's tough when you use the wiki and you gotta fucking go crazy with everything. Yes. You gotta look up this to get to here, to get to here, to do this, to do yep. that. And you gotta read everything. It feels like you're actually like... It completes the game, honestly. It makes sense that it has that wiki. This, this HD shit that we just found is amazing. Maybe there's a plugin for UIs that we don't have to stretch this shit. Maybe. Why? Resource packs allows you to change the look of the UI in RuneScape. If I drop this down to a hundred again. Bro, without the scale dude, do without the scaling. And there's gotta be a plugin for this. There's one that's right here, I just said it. UI plugin, resource packs. It says allows you to change the look of the UI in RuneScape. I don't know, I haven't downloaded it or anything, but UI scaling. Bro, you can change the settings of everything, Arnez. Go to, you know that thing we installed the one one the one seventeen HD beta. Yeah. Go into it, like where you downloaded it, and click the okay. little settings on it, and you can adjust everything. Trying to find where's the UI. Oh, that dynamic. close and open it for this shit to take I don't know effect. how it, I don't know how to change it there's UI scaling 
You can change the draw distance, bro. No, where? How? Go on, go on the... Uh, let me hop on your stream real quick. Go on. Shadow right distance? Right there, it says US, UI draw distance up top, up top. All the way up top, all the oh way up top. Oh my god. How high can you go? Oh. No, all the way up top, bro. I see it, I see it. Oh, oh, your stream's delayed. I'm dumb. I didn't change, really. Really? Maybe there's a max. Oh, actually, it works if I click the button. What do you mean, you click what button? Like, if I actually click the button to increase it, I see it expanding and showing me more of the map. Yeah, yeah. 90 is the max. 90 is the max, yeah. I put mine on 90 for now, whatever. I'm just trying. This looks amazing. I can't believe we found this HD. I turned the shadows up to extreme. You can see like the leaves on the ground. I changed the saturation down. The saturation was kind of high for me. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna leave it. I just really want to figure out how to fix this. Oh, atmospheric lighting is is a must. Atmospheric lighting is a must, bro. What do you do? You shift shadows. Turn them up. Yeah, I put shadows on extreme and then uh, shadows distance to max and let's see here. One more atmospheric lighting was checked off, but turn that on. Any dynamic lights. Oh, shit, man, we're playing this on. A... Oh, I'm actually no, my stream fucked up. Still don't see a UI option though, which is kind of shitty. It says UI scaling. I don't, I don't know what it means it, by linear do nearest neighbor. I have no idea what the hell this I've means. I've tried changing them and it doesn't do anything. He's saying. Okay, it's too fixed. No, it doesn't go full screen. Unless I can force full screen here. Yeah, it doesn't make it full screen, sadly. What did we download? 117 HD. There's a rune light plugin called stretched mode so that the UI can scale while also not affecting the graphics of the HD textures. If some people are using the resource pack plugin, but some of them look blurry. Just search, you can search it, right? Or no? That's the one I said earlier, G.
don't understand. Yeah, I'm just play on 125 for now. <laughs> it ain't that bad. I mean, I'm gonna still research it, might as well, since I'm doing nothing but dropping trees. Show you guys how to play old school RuneScape in fixed resolution or fixed mode, yeah, but so also for full screen. Barbarian fishing, the settings or the configure you mode, and just 15, type in need 48 fishing, type in the first. 15 agility, and 15 strength. But you can't get really 15 agility unless you fucking get those quests on, which require higher strength. <laughs> I found it, bro. Really? It's an installed plugin already, bro. It's just called Stretched. So if you just go to your already installed plugins, it's called Stretch Mode. Just turn it on and then hit the settings. That's crazy. Oh, it makes the whole screen. Wait, what? Okay, and then go to your, when you do that, go to back to the 117 HD beta and change your UI scaling to the very bottom one. Looks like that's the best one. XBR? Yeah, it looks like that's the best one. What do you mean? Look at, look at your scale, like depending on how much, you, you increase your map size and shit, right? The text? Not the text, though, like just your inventory, the boxes at the bottom. Yeah, the, yeah, you know, I increase that, yeah. All of that, like the pixels around the, yeah, around it looks the edges. Like shit with XBR. Really? Mine looks amazing with XBR. Mine looks really good. Very happy with the results. How is your text uh, see-through, your text box? I'm on modern, I'm on the modern layout. Are you on like the classic? Or like- Sizable modern? 
Yes. Yeah, I'm on Resizable Modern. And is it... Boxes and see-through? No. Settings. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. It doesn't work, though. That's the thing. I never see anybody talking or anything in here. Just probably I'm talking. What do you mean? Like, ever? I don't see anything. I go to, like, the GE. I don't see anybody. I, I did something to these settings, and it, it like, I blocked the public chat or something. And I've never Just been able quick, to get it back. Go right there. See on public? Right click it. Where it says public. Then what? Change it to all. I don't know. There's no option for anything like that. Show standard. Standard. But just click, click all chat. I usually just have mine on all so you see everything. On the left. Far left. What do you do to that? I just have it like clicked in. That way I see all my chats. Like left click. Oh, I gotcha. That'll show everything then. Yeah, that'll sh that say something. show everything. Are we in the same world? No, we're not. I'm joining right now. We gotta be close to each other anyway. Really? Yeah, we gotta be close to each other, dude. I did not know that. Yeah. This is sick. I'm glad I started it up on the PC tonight. Now I'm gonna figure. Now I'm really gonna figure out. And it's full screen. I just noticed. Yeah. It's actually That's what I full said screen. It earlier, but mine's not full screen now. It was, but now it's not. I just broke mine as well. I clicked the <laughs> gear <laughs> setting. So yeah, see, it's. What the? Oh, that's great. sitting in here for full screen. I got it. Transparent checkbox, chat box. There you go. And the transparent side panel. Oh. What your inventory? Shit. Yeah. Where? Uh, go on the game settings. Go on interfaces. Scroll all the way down where it's resizable. Like your actual game setting, not room light. Faces resizable. And then under that it says transparent chat box, transparent side panel. Uh -huh. Nice, that's sick. You can change the border of the fucking inventory. There's only two options, yeah, but... <laughs> Some guys over here stealing my fucking crabs.
I'll be right back. I think I cut a thousand of these logs today, bro. God damn. So that's, I think that's a million if I sell it. That's a million GP. It's amazing. There's nobody here. It's literally amazing. I didn't see this in any YouTube video or anything like that. So it's probably not the most productive way to be doing this. But it's... Are you just doing it for fun or are you trying to get like level up here right now i'm just doing it for fun i want to get um i got i'm trying to get up to four million so i can upgrade this one so i can do that fire effect thing and then once i do that i'll go actually do like the tree quest missions to unlock like the best place to train and then i'll go do the wood cutting i think yeah, the best the fastest way i think is uh teak logs Yes, yeah, that's what I've heard. Yeah. I it's think that's like also profitable. the most... I think it is still the most profitable teaks. But you gotta yeah, do it bugs, like right, somewhere probably. where you can bank. Like I, I've seen like a couple guys where they say like teaks are like... I guess they're 182 each. Yeah, it's just you get them really fast, you know? Compared to this, yeah. yes, the magic logs are a thousand, but you're gonna right. hit the tree 20 times before you get one. Right. So... It still works out. It is the most effective per hour, but you're you're competing with people once, so you're gonna be world hopping to get the trees. 
and basically just a hassle, you know, someone can join and just fuck up your whole shit. And then it's not really AFK if they're fucking up your shit, in my opinion. So, I was just running through this place and I was like, holy shit, four magic trees right here. Nobody's here, I'm just gonna farm right here, and a bank's right next to me. You're on the beach here, right? Yeah. Where are you? Quick on your map? I just joined your world. I'm oh, just north of you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I see you. Right by the fucking port. Yep. And I'm so happy we found this HD plugin. You have no idea, man. It's nice. It's so nice. Feels like I'm playing the. This is the best of both worlds right now, cause I yeah, I really liked RS3. You yeah. know, like I got I got far in that one, man. I played that one a lot. Now this is just perfect. You did play it a lot, I remember. The best of both worlds. I had a lot. Yeah, I I got full dragon set in that one. I beat most of the quest line. Yeah, and that now, was a lot easier, wasn't it? Not really. Couldn't you like, get up to like level 120 or some shit instead of 99? That I don't know. I never made pretty it, sure. bro. Like, once you hit 60, it feels like the same shit, you know? I'm pretty sure uh, you can get up to uh, 120, if I remember correctly. Maybe, might. That might make. That might have made sense. That's probably how they made up for, like, the the scaling they just stretched it you know so it seems like right. you're going faster but once you hit right. that end bit you're same shit, you're the yeah. same shit yeah so i was basically just doing it for the graphics and and the game but now this is literally the best of both worlds yeah man we gotta do raids and shit once we get higher levels i can't stuff. wait we gotta do some raids bro yeah i can't wait man i need to My get some good God. loot kill some bosses Yes, we go for the drops. We're gonna go for drops. We're gonna run the same yeah. boss like th three hours a day, yeah, three hours a night. Yeah, hundred percent. We're gonna have the. Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped. Stop. Chill out. Chill out. <laughs> we need to get the good drops. You know, get the rare fucking drops. Yes. Worth worth good money. Then we go into the wild wilderness and gang up on people. Oh, that's where a lot of fucking bosses are, bro. Too. Oh my god, so that's like, a lot of shit sick. that drops. Good stuff is in the wilderness. So you gotta go into the wilderness. To even and get to some of that stuff. There's probably so many bosses, man. There's this a lot game's of bosses, been out for bro. years. There's a lot of bosses. If we want to, this will literally be the game we play for years. Forever. The MMO. Lives, probably. I've been searching through all these new MMOs, playing MMOs for years, trying to find the right one. Who knew? Who no, knew it's been it's out? The best. It's been out for years, bro. Why aren't <laughs> you? Why are you not trading, bro? <laughs> it could have been 99. Literally. Everything 99 by now. No, it was a different. You had to, you had to commit back in the day. Now you can play on mobile. You can, you can really AFK everything. You know, back yeah, in the day. Still, man, that was fucking. It's true. Like Fifteen years ago, bro. Like, you gotta realize that was that a long time. That is true. You'd have multiple ago. accounts by now. Yeah, hundred percent. You'd have an Iron Man and everything probably. My God. Iron Mans are insane. Like. That is insane. Why would you do that to yourself? No trade, no GE. Yeah. I don't understand. Like, I feel like that's like the. If you. Or, like, is hardcore, you die once, it's over? I think so. Or you lose everything in your inventory. I don't know. I think if you. You can't get it back <laughs> or some shit. I don't know. Something like that. It might just be it's over if you die once. If it's if it's over if you die once and you lose like all the skills you did and everything, that must be no. Nah, I probably just switch this to like a regular Iron Man. I'm gonna Google right so now. So Iron Man is an account type that it requires the player to be entirely self-sufficient. Okay. Since these restrictions cannot be removed in-game, one must contact customer support to have it removed.
Hard can hardcore Iron Man. Players will only have one life. In addition to all the standard restrictions given to all Iron Man. If a hardcore Iron Man dies, they will be converted to a standard Iron Man, yeah. I see, so it's a leaderboard run. You see how high you can get on the yeah. board before you yeah, die. Yeah, it says here, in addition, their experience and total level on hardcore Iron Man high score table will be locked with their name slashed across. That's crazy. Meaning they died. That's amazing. That's pretty crazy. Your name's there, but it's crossed out. That's sick as hell. You could probably look at, yeah, you can look at the leaderboard stats, I think, somehow. Get I wish, I wish there was a plugin that, like, notified me when my special attack was back. That would be a good plugin. What do you mean your special attack? This axe, if you use, it has a special attack, and if you use it, you get, um, it boosts your wood cutting by 89, 90. Three levels temporarily. Oh, nice. I jumped to 92. I got you. Yeah, I see it. How much you pay for that axe? It's really cheap. It's like 50k. Not bad at all. But the the gem you need to make it, or like the the one that burns. Enchant it? Yeah, that one's yeah, enchant it? I got 5 you. million. Do you gem have a certain do. magic level to enchant it? I think so. It's either magic or crafting, maybe both. But you're bad. I think I'm just gonna buy it since you know. Right. And then you can recharge it, either with another gem that costs five million or with another axe that costs fifty k. Yeah. So obviously, you know, the axes are getting bought. <laughs> I don't think this works. What are you trying to do? That works. What the fuck? I'm trying to do this quest helper thing. Yeah. The other ones are working, but the one I actually have is not working for some reason. Can you enable on settings or some shit? Shield or a Rob, you need a teammate, a friend, as it says. Really? Yeah. Um, that's why. It's one of the last ones I have on this. Vampire Slayer is easy. Gives you a good amount of attack XP, too. Vampire Slayer is the last one, then, that I can do by myself. Then we get into membership. Only done a few in members. Yes. Yeah, Vampire Slayer is super easy. You just did a couple things. I just hit a thousand teak. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see what's up at fucking. Varrock. Got all that ruins I need, so I'll just take a bunch. <laughs> this place looks sick. This place honestly is crazy. Like oh, with Varrock? Damn, looks crazy, yeah. Doesn't it look crazy, man? It does look good, yeah. That fucking castle. Oh my With god. That fucking wall. 
Fucking ray trace, man. Whoa. <laughs> For some reason the draw distance here is trash. What is this? It's just how that shit is until it loads in the next tile, no? Yeah. That's weird, yeah, even this can't fix it. A little bit. No, I'm a moron. Fuck. Damn it. I probably could have sold those for more. They sold instantly. I should have charged more for that. Got a bunch of random shit in my fucking bank, man. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna spend a million right now and just get my prayer level up. My prayer is trash. Charge your prayer points, G. I'm gonna have to hop worlds. Why? There's a world that you can go to for prayer training called House Party Gilded Altar. And you go here and then there's like a Gilded Altar thing that you can use to get... use your bones on that thing and it gives you the best. And that lobby's popping. That world. Yeah, this one's going nuts, man. Got some crazy looking dudes there. Yeah, it's going crazy. Uh, let's see. What's that school mean? Does that mean they killed someone or they just died? I think they mean that they killed. They're killers. They've been PKing. I don't know what bones to use for this. Just Google it, bro. That's the way to fucking... I mean, it depends on your prayer. Can you bury any bones? Yeah. I'm gonna search bones. It looks like they're burning these blue bones. The pure dragon. How much is the? Probably. Ten k a bone. Fuck yeah. You can buy a hundred at that rate, that's it. Not even. I'll do a hundred. It's probably a lot of XP, probably, still. That's a thousand, G. You can't buy a thousand. Maybe, maybe two hundred? No, bro. I'll just do it. I'll just do a hundred. Oh, with all, with all your money? Yeah, if you do all your money. I'm not gonna do all that. I thought you were gonna do just one mil, yeah. We'll see how it goes. I was only able to get a E5 anyway. <laughs> there we go. I need a E5 filled instant. Okay. 
forgot how to do this though. Iron Men and Ensouled Heads, which I have some few quests I should mention, XP and their other rewards. So after you do Restless Ghost, you're able to do Recruitment Drive, Priest in Peril, and the Holy Grail. But keep in mind that the Holy Grail also now onto the methods. Firstly, the Gilded Altar, and using bones on a Gilded Altar with two burners lit gives you 3.5 times the prayer XP that you'd receive instead of burying the bone. Now you can build a gilded altar in your own house with burners with level 75 construction, but if you don't have this construction level, you can very easily go to world 330 to someone else's house that does have a gilded altar and by no means go out of your way to get this construction level to train prayer. Honestly, you're probably better 30 to someone else's house that does have a gilded altar and by- Very good gun. You can do this in world 330 if you don't have your own, which is the house party world. Check the notice board to see who is hosting. Remington, so... What Draenor? Remington's right here, isn't it? Yeah, it should be right here. Um, people are on their house and shit. Who is this? Why is everybody talking to Phylus? That's where you can go into your house and stuff. Thank notes for five coins. Gotcha. Should have brought some fucking <laughs> coins. Yeah. Damn it. Fuck. Uh, use the charges. Back to Draenor. We just go to Dre. Yeah, I guess we can teleport. Oh, there's right sprint so XP. God damn sprint! I need to. I really need to train agility, man. He might turn his run from nose. Take the guy next to the house portal. Jay Creeper, man. Thanks for the tip, but I'm retarded and didn't read your message. But thank you for the tip. <laughs> this is why streaming this game is is clutch money. Don't need that much. Where's that little egg thing that I had? There you are. Done. There you go. I almost figured it out. I was putting two and two together, man. Everybody's running to this guy, so I figured he's the he's the man to talk to. <laughs> Run longer with no armor. Yeah, you way less. 
What? There's weight? Yeah, you what see your the <laughs> hell? <laughs> How do I see my weight? I think it's if it's in your inventory, I'm not sure if it counts, but... Equipment stats. 30 kg. What the hell? Does my inventory count? Uh, I don't know. I guess I if you like take it, it off, not. Hover over the boot. This boot? The sprint boot, stamina boot. Oh, okay, I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, we're fucking walking now. We're, we're fucking speed walking. Look at him go. Man can't be stopped. He's on a mission. I just see a naked person? What the hell's that? Oh, it's a bunny. What the hell kind of skin is that, man? That's insane. Did you see that? I did see that. I thought it was someone who was nude or something. There we go. Talk to Phyllis. Yes. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Want stamp pot. I don't know what a stamp pot is. One here, I think. Yep, we're here. Okay. What the fuck? That looks crazy. Right at the altar, but how do I do this? Okay, so use on the altar, right? I don't think so. Doing it? Just pray on the altar. I did pray at the altar. Use. Yeah, you recharge, you recharge your prayer points is what you did there. That's what you do at the altar. Why is he not? You can't use them at the altar, G. Altar. You, you can. can. It's a guild. It's a gilded altar, right? Is it's there another on altar? The other side. It's probably on the other side or some shit. That's a regular altar. That guy is enchanting or some shit. Look at the other side. There's oh, it is an thing. altar. It is just regular. Altar of the occult. <laughs> and I'm so confused. These guys are doing it. He's doing the bones right next to me. On the other side. Altar of the Colonel you know. Just ask, where should I bury bones? Ask in chat. <laughs> something, there's something weird going on here. Do this. Okay. He just walks up, but he doesn't do anything. Why, man? Click bone. You require a prayer level of 70 to do that. I just spent a million dollars. Yeah, it says that you require. So it's set, you have to have 70 to use these bones? No, I don't think so. I think it's whatever. Or is it the do. altar? Is it the altar that requires 70? Another player's provided you the altar because if you, you can do this in world. If you look on your you prayer, like that's what you level up. There's no bones. Yeah, but that doesn't show item requirements. 70 prayer for the bone. It is 70 prayer for the fucking bone. God, fuck, man. Okay. When it show that in the in the list right there? No, can you try? Can you try? Can you try just putting one down? What burying it in the ground? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> It's a $10,000 bone. I'm not it's gonna... $1,000 bone. No, it's 10k a bone. It's 10k a bone. <laughs> Which way am I going here? We gotta run back, man. What the fuck are you gonna do now? I'm gonna put these back, and then I'm gonna buy some more bones. Some bones that I can actually fucking use. God. Should I just relist these, you think? Just 
getting trolled, man. Getting trolled. This, every time I play this game, I find myself running back and forth, and then, and then I'm running with full inventory again. God. Just mistakes all around. Have you done the quest? There's like one, two, three, four quests that'll get you from level 1 to 30, it says. I've done all the free quests, probably. I think only one of them is free for, oh. for prayer. Idea. Offering bones I'm only at a 25. gilded altar. The fastest way to train prayer is to offer bones at a gilded altar in a player-owned house. When both incense burners are lit, the altar gives 350% experience percent per bone. Experience. For example, a superior dragon yeah, so it's going to be amazing experience, but I just but it will award 525 XP when offered at a gilded altar with to... both burners Which lit. Which bones can you I can use? You can also use each bone on the altar to get faster experience altar is going to be our first method the gilded altars are located in player owned houses if you don't have your own gilded altar you may use another players providing you are not an iron man you can do this in world 330 okay. if you don't have we're gonna own, go back to Verrock. Nice we're gonna free... check the notice board to see who is hosting. when both incense burners are lit the altar will give 350 percent of the normal experience for example a superior dragon bone will give you 150 xp when buried but it will award 525 xp when offered at a gilded altar with both burners lit you can also use each bone on the altar to get faster experience rates rather than letting it auto offer so if you use one bone on the offer and let it go it will take more time but you can use each one individually on the altar to get fast xp in addition to this, players can visit the NPC files, who is located just outside, and a bit. I forgot where to charge yeah, this. So, so the so superior dragon bones do require level seventy prayer to use. All the other ones, I don't think have. have any sort of limit So the best ones you can get are org bones. O U R G. How do you know? The most because I'm checking out this list. Is that for level? What level is that? What level do you have to be? It doesn't have a level. Let's look. I'll send you this chart. Check Discord here in a sec. DM'd it to you. The only one that says requires level of prayer is the superior dragon bones. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a regular dragon then. Yeah, they give you less XP, but they're about half the price of the org bones. Ooh, they're much less. Dragon bones are only 2400. How much are the org bones? Check the org bones. How do you spell it? O U R G. Thirty-three thousand a bone. <laughs> That's the most expensive one. That's more than the superior dragon bones. Yeah, I don't, they give you they give you uh, double the XP of the dragon ones, and they give you less XP than superior dragon. It's three times the the price. Yeah. For double the XP, this game is wild. Regular dragon bones. Oh no, oh, but. Fountain of Rune recharges. Okay, there's a fountain and rune in the wilderness that recharges this amulet, but that just sounds fucking dick. You gotta go out there with nothing, G. 
Yeah, basically that and just play amulet and go recharge. Yeah. <laughs> whatever whatever happens, happens at that point. Literally, you might lose the fucking thing, but whatever. Now it's only showing me superior dragon bones and okay, there are no dragon bones. I guess you're probably pretty safe if you're just running naked through the wilderness. Probably people are just not even gonna yeah, waste their time with against probably you. Don't waste their time, yeah. Like, dragon bones are a little... Is there any way to check, like, the history of the G or shit, bro? There's plugins for it, I think. I feel like you can abuse that shit, definitely. Oh yeah, I remember back in the day when I was playing RuneScape 3, I found a, a method where I bought these... It was like clay or something, I forgot what the hell it was. But it was clay and at level 5 you could craft it into something else and immediately double it. So I would literally just buy it, craft it, and then put it back up and it would sell for double. Yeah. Run into it. shit like that even in OSRS. This shit all back. Especially in member, member worlds. I need 50k, don't forget the... Alright, this time for sure. Running shit. A hey, house teleport. Yeah. If you buy a house, can then can you put like teleports in your house to take you around the map? I don't know about that. I know there's like a spell you can use that'll teleport you to your house, and I think there's probably more to it. You can get shit that automatically teleports you there if you want, without having to cast. That would be crazy, man. There's so much to this game. There man. is, man. There is. There's so I was, like, so I was feeling overwhelmed much. and like I'm still overwhelmed. I'm still, yeah, every time I try to play That's this crazy. game, I'm over, like, what do you want to do? Like, what do you mean, yeah. what do you want to do? Yeah. <laughs> the only answer is do whatever the hell you want. There's so much that, exactly. that nobody can tell you what to do in this game. Exactly. That's pretty much it. Then every time you find something you want to do, it's like, oh, you, you should you can also do this other thing that would help you do that, and then this other thing would help yeah, you do you that. Yeah, you gotta do this thing and you're first, switching yeah. your task, you're just leapfrogging fucking one and after another. And then you forget about the whole thing at first, and then you're like, what was I, why did I do this? Incredible, man. Incredible. If he's gonna do it, no bullshit, just do it. There you go. Bingo bango, bitch. We're up there. 252 XP per hit. Yep, there it goes. Like, uh, instantly hit 26. <laughs> Two bolts. <laughs> This is gonna be good. 
level 27. That should up pretty high. Can you shift click? I think you can shift click on the bones. You try shift, shift clicking. And, uh, try shift clicking on like the other things. So you don't just bury your bones, I guess. What are people doing over here? Is it two? Changing spell book. Oh my god, I forgot there's different spell books, man. You know about that? What do you mean? Like you know the spell book in your bottom right? Yeah. There's a there's different spell books, like different pages and shit. Different spells, like whole different. No way. Yeah, the multiple multiple books. Like I think there's four or four different books. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Every day you get on this game, it's something fucking it's some new shit. Doing this is, RuneLine's telling me this is 230,000 XP per hour. And, uh... The books are called Lunar, Ancient, Basic, and Arceus. Arceus is that place I was chopping down the magic trees. <laughs> Pretty sure you have to do like some quests there and then you get like... You have to like build like your reputation there or something right they have some, i read that shit earlier with some cities like some of them you can't even bring weapons in because they're so against that shit so Damn. Like you shouldn't be bringing yeah what like, the what? hell yeah
main reason I'm doing this is because there's there's a prayer in here somewhere that makes your effects last longer. Pretty good. So like my effect of like the double level. Yeah, it'll last longer. Yes. So it'll pro I'm I'm hoping it'll last until I can just it recharge and I can use it again. You know. Like the whole time while I'm woodcutting, I can have that effect going. But right, right. What the hell is the prayer? What's the thought size? Fifty percent longer. At level fifty-five. Yeah, I'll get there. I'll fucking get there. Oh, the only thing is, I don't think there's like a church by those magic trees. So I can refill my prayer. prayer. Yeah. I mean, there has to be one somewhere, somewhere there. There is. There's an altar. Close. Is it close? Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh my god, I found the perfect spot by accident. I'm so awesome. That's gonna be sick. I'm gonna chop it up. Get another million dump of, dump some more into prayer. I don't think you need that much that high prayer to actually start like bossing. It's your defensive fifty. These are pretty OP. Magic attack and defense by 25%. Damn, that's crazy. My streamlabs broke. I don't know what's going on. It's stuck like it, it keeps moving. It's <laughs> okay. It's coming back. For some reason, it moved my hand cam and the text all the way up. What the hell is it doing? Coming back down.
should also consider doing this, bro. I don't have enough money to do that currently. There's some spells in here I think that can increase your max hit. And then, you know, basically the XP you gain for combat is just based off how hard you hit. Right. Yeah, I'll do it eventually, but I gotta make some money first. I'm gonna need some more bones, it looks like. <laughs> Damn it. Think so? Yeah, it's looking like it. Do you know if there's a way to make the stats tracker maybe a little bit bigger? In like, yeah. rune light? Maybe. Probably is a way, but I have no idea. I don't really, I don't use it too much, to be honest. How do I do the in-game one? Forgot to do that.
god, ten bones left. Rip. Did you waste all your fucking travels? Uh, no. All right, actually, I think I'm gonna call it a night there. Yeah. Me too, it's about it for me. Um. Well, you have a good night, bro. Me too, bro. Take it easy. Take it easy, take it easy. Thank you guys for watching the stream. Maybe I'll start streaming this regularly late at night after my Counter-Strike streams. <laughs> if you like it, I, I stream on both YouTube and I stream on on Twitch at the same time. So hopefully see you guys tomorrow night, but I'm going to go get some sleep. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. And thank you, JK Reaper. Thanks for following. And also thank you for the help, man. Shout out to you, man. Jake, Jake Reaper, 9-11. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good night, man.